Welcome back everyone on this Wednesday morning. Well, flooding has certainly been the story for the last few days. I know I've been mentioning it every day with the flood advisory that got upgraded to a warning. This is a picture that I took yesterday on Sierra Road when we were out there uh, checking out the situation and doing a little bit of an update on that. So Sierra Road very flooded and of course the closures at Rossiter Elementary uh, it's no surprise to anyone that the flooding is continuing and this is another image that I showed just a few minutes ago from Lincoln and this is uh, an image of the flooding up there and if you have any images you'd like to send in you can go ahead and send those to our Facebook page. Uh, we would love to share those in the show and uh, it's good to see the images just to get an idea of how severe that flooding is to give people an idea of what they're dealing with out there. But this is another image that got sent in from Lincoln as well from some volunteers who are helping with some sandbagging. And lots of folks have been out there helping out with the effort to curb the flooding, which is good to see, although it's certainly not the most ideal of situations with the flooding. We would like it to go away, but it is great to see folks out there helping each other out any way they can. So here in the Helena Valley still have this flood warning and that says it's only going to be until later tonight, but I have a feeling it's going to be extended because we have more moisture coming in today plus warmer temperatures and we still have lots more snow to melt uh, from the higher elevations. So I don't really see this flooding going away anytime soon. Uh, so we will keep an eye on that as it all progresses and develops for you. Here in Lincoln, there is also a flood warning. As you saw, the flooding there uh, is pretty severe. Uh, flood warning in the Lincoln area as well. And in the surrounding area, a flood advisory still. So keeping an eye out for that and keeping an eye as it progresses with this rain that's coming through today. So you can see it's starting to already move into western Montana. A little bit of rain near Great Falls and to the west of Great Falls as well. Hasn't quite made it to the Helena Valley yet, but we are going to see some thunderstorms later on today. So that is really going to start to move in this evening around dinner time. Uh, around 730 is when that's going to really pick up and that'll move through the Montana area through the eastern part of the state. Tomorrow we're going to get more rain as well and then Friday another chance at snow and not just up in the mountains but in the lower elevations and this is going to be some significant rainfall. A few inches in some areas in central Montana here. It's going to be a lot more rain and that is going to worsen the flooding problem. But we will keep you updated on all of that as it progresses. So here's a look at the seven day forecast. So we've got the rain coming in today and continuing tomorrow, Friday, maybe hanging on Saturday morning as well with uh, it's looking like it may hang out for the beginning of the weekend, but we will keep you, uh, as I said, keep you updated yeah. as we know more about the flooding and the rain. It was nice to at least see a sliver of that sunshine this morning when the sun came up before all this began. Right, yeah. yeah. Katie, thanks.